Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to manage transaction using XML configuration file. So in earlier video tutorial, I taught you how to manage transaction declaratively using a Spring provided annotation at the rate transaction annotation. So same stuff we can achieve through using XML configuration file. Some people don't like annotation, so they don't want to write even uh, at the rate transactional annotation in source code. They want to handle the transaction through XML file itself. So let's make another project of this project which I had created in my previous video tutorial. So copy, paste in the same workspace and I would give the project name is Spring Transaction Management using XML. Config something like that. And let's close the previous project. Let's expand this project. So in this project, I have managed transaction using at the rate transaction attributes. So let's remove it and do control shift O for organize import. And I don't want to write any transaction management related code over here. Still, I would like to manage transaction for this API from XML file itself. That's my goal. So here, in a configuration file, of course, we are. I'm going to remove this element which I have written for previous example because we are not going to manage transaction anymore using uh, annotation. So that's why I have removed. Now to manage transaction. Uh, by configuring in XML file a Spring uses internally a Spring EOP, right? So here you make sure that you have EOP namespace in your XML doc type. So EOP colon I would say EOP config. And here I'm going to specify some attributes like target proxy class equals to true because my service layer implements our interface, right? So in that case you need to I specify this as uh, attribute as a true. Now inside this, you can specify uh, top advisor, right? And let's see. This is I ask you to no that only attribute. And here I'm going to specify something is called point cut. So if you don't know what is point cut, then please refer my previous video tutorial. I have posted a bunch of video tutorial regarding. Uh, I mean, Spring op there. I have discussed about the point cut. Now advice ref equal to I would give transaction advice right and point cut okay I would give sorry sorry so this I should have to remove here Okay, so I have given the ID as uh, advice ref as transaction uh, advice, and here I'm going to write a point cut like execution. This is the way to write a point cut, and I want to apply point cut for this class. So let's copy a qualified name and put it here. So a star, I'm going to put a star. A star means that will take that will apply for any return type and dot point and a star. And this is no, don't put a star. I want more specific, more specific point cut. So I would like to manage transaction for this API. So either you can write. Uh, inter, I mean complete method name or even you can use the wild card as well like uh, we can star we can put a star over here so transfer if your if this service method contains any method which starts with transfer after that any character is found by the EOP framework then this is going this point cut is going to apply for those methods and I have given dot dot means I don't care how many take how many parameter input parameter takes this method. So that's about 
this point cut. Now let's define a uh, tx colors colon advice. So advice here advice ask you to supply ID right. So ID I'm going to give this ID which I have given uh, advice ref name in the point UOP config tag. Okay. Now here I am going to specify TX attribute. Here you can register your uh, all API which is available in your bank service IMPL uh, and there you want to manage the transactions. TX colon method and method name again either you can give the in complete method name or you can use wildcard. Right? So here I am going to use wildcard itself. And this method tx colon method takes a lot of parameter right look at here isolation isolation we can specify like read committed whatever we have specified in annotation we, all those stuff we can specify read only i can give false that's fine so that my transaction can do write operation in database and you can do propagation level you can define required is fine for me and uh, Timeout is minus one, so this will valid for the infinity time. So I would restrict till 100 milliseconds. And next, that is uh, rollback for. I want my transactions to roll back for Java dot lang dot exception class. So that's all. So almost we are good to go. So almost we have configured everything right. So I hope this configuration you understood. Now let's try to run this application for first positive scenario. So from here I am making call to the my transfer fund API which is available in my service layer and from here I am making call to the window and deposit in my doll layer right and doll layer just we are doing these things for positive scenario so if i run it so we got a response from client program so 1000 bucks is transferred from one account to another account and same is deposited in another account see if i go and try to refresh in then this should become 71 and and this one would be 78 so 71 and 38 sorry so it's working fine let's go simulate a, a scenario where some exception arises and let's see whether my code is able to manage the transaction or not so what i will do in my doll layer i'll go to draw layer and here i throw this exception intentionally in my uh, deposit method let let it be the uh, uh withdraw happens successfully uh, while depositing just i'm trying to throw this exception inside this i don't want to go for this sop so let's try it and see whether transaction is handling properly or not and before that i would i want to show you what is the current refresh it so currently showing in first account 71000 and second account 38000 now let's let's run it from client program so you can see the console here my console is saying that 1000 bucks is transferred from first account to second account but while depositing the money some exception is getting arises so if you go here and try to refresh then amount shouldn't be go 1000 shouldn't be go from the first account so let's see in first account size 71000 and still 71000 means my code is handling the transaction internally right and all transaction related code uh, we have moved into configuration file rather writing in the uh, java code itself right if you look into the service layer then nobody can say that we are managing managing transaction for this api but while looking into the configuration file you can easily judge we are managing transaction for transfer fund here you can uh, write the met complete method name as well or either you can use the wildcard search so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial uh, i hope you guys understood if you have any question then please i mean you can 
you can post your, uh, your question below to this video and I'll try to answer your queries and uh, I will recommend you to uh, subscribe my YouTube channel uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process to create more and more videos on uh, rest of the model in the spring framework as well as some other other frame for framework so that's all I have in this video tutorial and uh, see you in the next video tutorial till that happy coding bye